In today's video, we are going to talk about Procreate stamp brushes. You will learn how easy it is to create your own stamp brush, how versatile these brushes are, and how they are going to speed up your workflow and make your Procreate user experience so much more enjoyable. What are stamp brushes? How are they different from other brushes? All the default Procreate brushes have been created for painting, drawing, or lettering. As you move your Apple Pencil along the screens, they create a line depending on the settings of the brush. You can create a stamp brush with a normal brush, but it's probably not very useful. With stamp brushes, on the other hand, you can't draw lines. They only create a representation of the image you loaded into the settings of the brush. And now you might be asking, why do I need this? Why can't I just draw the image myself? And of course you could do that, but if you want to draw the same shape many times, it's much quicker to use a brush for this. So now I wanna show you a few examples of super handy stamp brushes. The first one is a watermark. I really like using this for my Instagram pictures so that no one can steal my image, hopefully. It's just a little watermark that I place in the corner of my images. I also like creating stamps for my journal headers. I've actually made them for every day of the week. This is super fast if you wanted to create quick journal headers that you want to look the same. Or you can create little foliage brushes like this to make abstract paintings or to quickly create a nice botanical design. Or what you can do as well is use scan images from your watercolor paintings to make it easier to get the watercolor textures into your digital space. But now let me show you how you can create one of these brushes yourself. We're going to create the new canvas and for this you want to use a square canvas. 2048 pixels by 2048 pixels is the size you want. This will create a nice high resolution source image for your brush. All the source files for your brushes need to be in black and white. So what I usually do, I start with a white background and then paint with black onto my canvas. I've already created quite a few of these foliage brushes. So now I'm going to show you how you can create your own. And to start with, we are going to create a simple branch with some leaves. It's completely up to you which brush you want to use for this. I'm using the cute letters brush from my dream lettering brush set. When you draw your shape, you want to make sure that you're using up most of the space of the canvas to ensure the highest possible resolution. This is probably a little bit small, so I recommend that you draw it a little bit larger. So I'm going to clear this now and I'm going to use more of the space now of my canvas here. Before you start creating the brush, you really want to finish that shape and make it as nice as possible. You will be able to adjust your brush later as well, but I recommend that you do this first and then you'll have a much nicer and smoother brush creation process. And then once you are happy with that shape, what you might want to do as well is place the image in the middle of the canvas. Turn on snapping here, and then we can arrange the shape in the center of the canvas. All right, and so now it's time to create the brush. Open up the brush library, and if you wanted to, you can create a new brush library like this and give it a name my brushes, and then tap on the plus here to create a new brush. The first thing we're gonna do is give that brush a name. And I recommend that you use a prefix for all your brushes to make it easier to recognize them. All my brushes start with IPL for iPad lettering. And then we are gonna give this a name, my brush. And then you can see here how you can also add an image and a name. And this is so that other people can recognize your brush as well. Or even for yourself, you can remember whether or not it was you who actually created this brush. And so here we can now add a photo. It was made by me. And then we can sign this. And so now we have created the brush, but of course it doesn't look like our stamp yet. So in order to load our stamp into the brush, what we need to do first is copy the whole canvas. Tap on the action icon, tap on add, and then tap on copy canvas. And then we're going to go back to our brush and we're going to select shape. And this is now where we are going to place the shape source. Tap on edit. Tap on import and then tap on 
paste. So now what you see here is that it's got the white background with a black line and what we want is actually the inverted version of this and there's a really easy way to change this. You can two finger tap on your shape editor and then it will automatically invert the brush for you. So now we're going to tap on done and you can see now that the brush hasn't quite turned out the way we want. Yes if we tap on it it kind of creates a stamp but this is still set up like a lettering or a drawing brush. So now the next thing we need to do is go to stroke path and you want to turn the spacing all the way up to the top. So now all the individual stamps get spaced out a lot further and so now when we create a stamp it just creates a stamp like this. And then the next thing we want to change is Apple Pencil. You want to turn down the opacity all the way to zero to make sure that all your stamps have the same color like this and then in properties Turn the maximum size all the way up to the max. And this is how we can create really, really large stamps. And while we are here, we also want to turn down the preview a little bit. We probably want to set it to around 10%. And what that means now is that we have a little preview of our brush here. And then you also want to use that stamp preview of the brush. And so now when we tap down, you can see that we can see a stamp preview right here. So now let's try out the brush. Let's hide this layer and let's create a new layer. And now if we tap on the screen, here is our stamp. And of course you can now play with the size. You can create different sizes of your stamp. And this is how easy it is to create a stamp brush. I really hope you found this video useful. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And then I'm also going to put up another video where you can learn how to make Procreate painting brushes so that you can keep watching and you can keep learning. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.